Hey there, how's it going everybody? So, in, this, in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to link QGIS to your ArcGIS online account. So you might realize that most people that have an ArcGIS online account are normally using a developer's account, which does not come with, uh, with ArcGIS software license. So they're still using QGIS as their main desktop software. And then whenever they need to publish uh, publish applications or data, they then upload them these manually to their ArcGIS online account. But however, going through the reverse process of having to have your data stored uh, like in the ArcGIS cloud and uh, wanting to use your data in a QGIS is still a bit complicated, which we're going to be covering in this tutorial. So uh, for, the, for, the sake of, for the sake of this tutorial, I've created an application so this is basically a marathon application which I created with uh, which I created with uh, which I created with ArcGIS online. So basically what you're seeing on the screen what is in yellow currently, this is a route which was taken by one of the marathon uh, runners. Unfortunately, this is not a real marathon. It was just some data that I collected for the purpose of this tutorial while I was walking in the neighborhood. Uh, to and from work so this uh, is sort of like a trail which uh, which I used to go from point A up until point B so we're going to be using this uh, data to uh, display this data in QRGIS uh, but this data is currently hosted on ArcGIS online so what you're seeing here this is the this is the trail and currently I have my QGIS open so let me just navigate to my QGIS my QGIS should be here okay yeah so let me just open a new QGIS project so in order for us to be able to display our, our uh, display our, uh, our ArcGIS online data in QGIS we basically need to use the rest URL which is used by ArcGIS so if you navigate over to this tab and open the attribute data for this uh, for this layer so we have photos and we have routes so in this routes data, this is basically like the path which I took while at least I was doing this marathon. And as you can see, we have some attributes which are associated with this data. So currently we, have, we only have four records for the purpose of this tutorial, but in your case, you might have uh, more than four records that you want to do and perform a sort of like an analysis or mapping out using QGIS software. So this is pretty easy. So what we need to do is we need to go back to the overview panel and if you scroll down at the bottom, you'll find a URL. So this URL, I just copied it, and then I open a new tab and then paste, sorry, then paste that URL into a new tab. This is basically, uh, this is basically like the rest URL. So as you can see here, it's going to tell me that a token is required. And why is it giving me this error? It's not an error as such, but it's saying that I need to be authenticated and currently I'm not, uh, I'm not authenticated or authorized to view the rest URL of this uh, data source. So what I need to do first is I need to go back to my overview panel and then I need to share this data with the public. So in order for you to be able to share, sorry, in order for you to be able to get this data in QGIS, you need to share this data with the public, which I have done now. And if I go back to my rest URL and then I refresh that panel, it should give me all the details which are associated with this layer, as you can see, I just uh, said uh, like it just returned uh, like the JSON format of this layer and I can basically just go back and see what layer properties so we're not going to be dealing much with what is involved in this layer because our main concentration for this tutorial is mainly linking this data in our QGIS so right now I'm just gonna uh, go back to my overview panel and then I copy the URL again and then I go back to my QGIS so over to your QGIS, this is actually a new feature which was introduced, I think, in QGIS 3. They realized that people needed to use their data which was stored in ArcGIS, so that's when they added this ArcGIS to their servers. So I already have some data which is connected to my ArcGIS server, which I currently update, uh, which is currently updated on a daily basis. As you can see, we have a provincial time series and infection time series because I'm mainly dealing with COVID-19 these days and this data keeps on updating each and every day so i need to keep track of this within my desktop software and create maps which i distribute daily so in order for us to come up with something like this 
where we're going to be having some data which is linked to our QGIS. We just need to uh, go over on ArcGIS REST servers and then we right click and add a new connection. So I'm just going to name this uh, connection uh, Marathon Marathon Data, but you can name it whatever you want depending on what data type do you have. And I'm just going to copy, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to paste in that link to the service URL of the data. And then here it's going to be asking me, do you have a community endpoint? No, currently we do not have anything that is associated with that. And do I need to be authenticated? No, I do not need to be authenticated since I just made that layer public. But if I was not, um, if I did not make the layer public, then I might need to add in my username and my password to my ArcGIS online, which is really not recommended because it stores this uh, configuration file in your local system. And if anybody gets access to this file, maybe you 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 are someone who synchronizes everything to your OneDrive. And if someone gets hold of this file, then automatically they can get access to your ArcGIS online account. So I'm just gonna leave that basic configuration to no authentication, and then I'm just gonna click on OK. So once I click on OK, if I go down on this uh, ArcGIS REST servers drop down, I should see uh, I should see a marathon data option. So I'm just gonna expand that option. So as you can see. Remember, in our online account, let me just go back and then go to data. So in our online account, we had two layers. Actually, let me just go, go over to our overview panel. Okay, so we had two layers. The first layer is the one that contains the photos. So anybody who's running a marathon might just need to take some snaps of themselves. And then this is automatically added to, uh, like to the data. And we have uh, like the routes, which is basically a line uh, feature so we're, what we're mainly interested in which is going to be uh, used for our visualization is going to be these routes which we just which, which are just accessing right now which contains uh, four features so let me just go over back to my QGIS if I go over to my QGIS and then I double click on routes it should be able to load these routes onto my uh, onto my QGIS uh, to my QGIS workspace so as you can see it's, it is currently processing something right now and uh, oops, sorry about that so as you can see it's saying the task for drawing has been completed has been completed so what I need to do now is I just need to go over to my routes and then I just right click and then I say zoom to layer so as you can see here we have a small uh, dot which is in yellow over there this is uh, these are the routes so unfortunately when i configured this layer in arcgis it was set to it was set to a world view but let me just zoom in to this layer so we can just get to appreciate what we currently have so i'm just gonna zoom into that zoom in again and that's that's it so as you can see this is the same shape and the same color from what we actually had from our, our ArcGIS Online account. So let me just go back over to ArcGIS Online. As you can see here, this is the same chef that we actually had. So that means everything is currently working correctly. And if we go back and then we open our attribute table, we should be able to see the same attributes uh, which are also contained within our ArcGIS Online account. And that is correct. So basically this is how we can get to your layers into your QGIS software which are actually stored in an ArcGIS online environment. So you can do this uh, analysis, so sorry, you can do this, uh, you can perform this connection especially when you need to create static maps or data which is actually in real time because they might, because anybody can uh, request, for example like a client can request to have a map on every day or say like every evening and then you can actually get with data which is coming in uh, uh, like in real time so if you need to connect uh, this if you need uh, like coronavirus data for example if you need coronavirus data for Zimbabwe you can actually add this data to your to your you, you, you would actually add this data to your QGIS desktop and then you actually get to see and map out this coronavirus data in real time so Thank you, thank you guys for watching. I'm just gonna drop in the links to our coronavirus data if you need if you guys need to more practice on this or if you need to create a static map.
apps, you can also access anyone's data and make sure that data is actually publicized so that you don't have any complications. So please share it with someone else who you know is currently using QGIS but likes to access data which is in an ArcGIS online environment. And please do like and subscribe to our channel for more videos to come. Thank you once again.